Trump dances after two supporters collapsed at Bizarre Town Hall. Wait, what? Hey! Great! We love that man. Hold it, oh, please. A doctor, please. Doctor. Our first responders are amazing, the way they can do th Wait, there are a thread of clips of him dancing for 30 minutes? Thank you. Nobody's leaving. What's going on? There's nobody leaving. Keep going. Keep going. Should we keep going? All right, turn that music up. Turn it up. Great song. It goes like this, the fourth. Wait, when you guys said that he danced for 39 minutes, I thought you were exaggerating. Explain to me. First of all, guys, for those of you who don't know, Donald Trump is a firm, committed believer in the human battery lifespan theory. What do I mean by this? Donald Trump believes every human being has a finite amount of energy, and if they expend that entirety of it, they will die. He has talked about this before. So when you analyze his actions, dancing at a town hall for 39 uninterrupted minutes, you then recognize that he is literally, in his at least in his own mind, he's putting his own lifespan out there. This is basically suicidal, this behavior for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please watch the Trump Club next. He played the wrong version of Ave Maria and he was pissed. Thank you very much. It's going to be good. <laughs> right now. I want the Pavarotti one. <laughs> Yo, that's my goat. Stop. No, dude. Nothing puts a smile on my face like this fucking genocidal fascist monster. Okay. He still got it. By God. He still got it. He is such a zesty man. Pavarotti. Unacceptable. Only one Ava Maria I will listen to. Put on Pavarotti singing Ave Maria. Put on Pavarotti singing Ave Maria. Oh, he's so sick. Oh, he gave a kissy poo. He gave a kissy. That's probably the guy who died. I gave him a kiss and then he fell apart. He died. He was, he had the best seat in the house. And now he's looking down at us from the heavens. Hallelujah. So. Wait, so he like literally kept, wait, what? So this is not a joke. Like he just kept also uh, Sinead O'Connor. That's fucked up. But, but like, so he just kept dancing. There's rich man, no, the rich man, Lord knows it all. What happened to that guy? They killed him, dude. Remember that guy? Remember everyone yelling at me? That guy was like woke. And actually I didn't understand it because he was a MAGA communist or some shit. What the f happened to that guy? When he said he didn't support Trump, they drone strike his whole career and family. Just wanna have total control. Wanna know what you think. Wanna know what you do. And they don't think you know. But I know that you do. Scroll up. There are more in the video. Watch this one, please. This is a man. God, he's such a queen bro he is he is queening dude i swear to god like there are chatters who used to get mad at me when i said trump is zesty and he is like a um, asexual biromantic queen like please I, I bet you're all eating crow right now okay you know you know he is f diva okay he is the diva king i'm almost com i'm convinced that if if you were like mr trump sir you will have the capacity to produce your own broadway sh broadway show we're not going to give you any sort of like we're not going to prosecute you you just can't be president you will have your own broadway show and you know we'll give you a television show where you can like you know explain your thoughts to the american public on a daily basis no criminal charge whatsoever he would drop it he would drop out of the race i swear to god this man does 
not want to be president. This man is simply using the presidential ticket as a lifeline, okay? If you told him, instead of these sweaty, gross, HVAC business owning losers that were going to attend his crowds. He was going to have the gayest, okay? He was going to have the gayest crowds of all time slammed into a Broadway theater to listen to whatever the fuck his uh, production, his musical production would be. I am telling you, he would take it 100%. He despises these people. His entire life revolves around wanting to earn the respect of liberal intelligentsia, never getting it because he's too crude, he's too rash, and constantly fighting against them and constantly having this like resentment towards them. Well, you are so stupid. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm the stupid one, and you are the brilliant one, because what are you going to tell me? You're going to tell me that Donald Trump is actually running for president to save America, right? That's why. Because he cares about you, right? Not you, my bad, lol. Oh, okay, I thought you were... God, I got excited. I thought you were a hog. Oh, you offered that son of a bitch a Tony he drops out today? It's not just a Tony. He needs, like... He needs recognition, but he also needs like a place where he can let out all of his frustrations. Oh, turn it up louder, he said about- My all time favorite shot. And let's listen to Pavarotti sing Ave Maria. Can you hear that? They gave me the Ave Maria with no voice. There it is. That's my favorite piece of paper anywhere in the world. I sleep with it every night. I kiss it. I kiss it. And you see those numbers, by the way, for those that we talked about. Why are you trying to convince me to vote for Trump, Lamau? Wait, what? Why? Because I said he's gay. That's it. That's all. I'm a single issue voter. Whoever queens out harder, I will vote for them. Is that what it is? That's what you care about? Uh, you know, the border, when you're talking about the border, look at the numbers. That was the lowest it ever was right there. That was the last day I was in office. That's, and we're going to get it lower than that. But we're going to let people come in. We're going to let people come in. So very, very important. But there's a, one of my most favorite. If I didn't turn to the right, I wouldn't be here with you right now. Right. So uh, it's a sort of a cruel world. But I was very proud of that before the fact. Now, even if it had lousy numbers, I would love that piece of paper a lot. So put on Pavarotti singing Ave Maria. Nice and loud. Turn it up louder. We want a little action here. Turn it up louder. I could have had a career in opera, let me tell you. If I wasn't doing the political commentary, I could be a star in opera. Hey, how's number? You were more or less in tune. Okay, you have to remember something. I have uh, no like professional musical training, no training whatsoever since third grade when I stopped the choir when my parents wouldn't let me go to China, okay? And I don't know why it happened to be that way. It wasn't like I was uh, super pro-China back then for any particular reason. They just would not let me go to China with the choir, and I thought that was lame as fuck. I cried, and yeah, I stopped uh, the choir after that. I think, like, our school choir went to China. It was like some fucking global initiative. I don't know. Anyway. Turn it up! My favorite song. Ave Maria. Nice and loud. Turn it up loud. This one is for Shy David. Louder, we want a little action here. Turn it up louder. <laughs> Shy David. I can't believe he just like. I can't believe he just. Danced around this much. It's hard to find an open Democrat in Brantley County, Georgia, where Trump won more than 90% of votes in 2020. Of all the counties and all the 2024. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I'll hunt down a Democrat. I'll find him. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, sweetie pie. I'll find one of them libtards. Wing states, it's the most pro Trump. And we wanted to know why. We vote 92% Republican, not because anything wrong with him does. Okay, let's get that on the board. Uh, this ain't about me. We're a small rural county. A lot of folks here live paycheck to paycheck. And 
when there's too much month at the end of the money, people vote with their wallet. At one point in time, hell yeah, brother. The only way, the only way to make sure that our poor ass county can survive is by making sure the rich get tax cuts. <laughs> if only there was a candidate out there that was uh, communicating that that is probably not a helpful way for us to thrive. The Democratic Party was for the working man and the Republican Party was for all the elites. And somewhere that got switched around. This is some of that stuff. Everybody here calls him President Trump. As far as the people in the, around here is concerned, he's still the president. Democrats didn't used to be rare here. Almost everyone we spoke to said their grandfather had been one. But those days are gone. Numbers do not lie. Watching people five and six years ago, they had success. One of the funniest aspects of this is that like Kamala Harris is technically speaking to these people. These people have the aspirational goal of becoming small business owners if they're not already small business owners. And that's really funny that like none of them give a sh okay none of them you cannot connect with these people yeah uh oh i wonder why they used to be dems yeah <laughs> yeah back when the democratic party was a uh, pro working class you know dixiecrats successful businesses they were thriving they were doing well every time somebody comes and says okay then we'll have to close it honestly hurts hendrix got a heat press to make custom t-shirts and it turned out that dude ev okay Okay, this is like Associated Press in Ukraine. Unable to find a guy that doesn't have a black sun tattoo. What is going on? I'm sure in the entire nation, there has to be Republicans that don't immediately financially benefit from Donald Trump this directly. Every time CNN or any number of different outlets go to the rural South, they always find someone operating a Trump shop. How many Trump shops are out there, man? I don't get it. Are they going to the same Trump shop? I don't think so. They're going to different parts of the country. But literally every f time they'll be like, we went to the most pro-Trump county in the entire state. And it's always a person that runs a Trump merch business. What is going on? Is this what it is? Did I not realize that it's just we are a nation that does MAGA merch now? Like, <laughs> It's not like Spirit Halloween because Spirit Halloween goes out of business when Halloween is over, okay? They close up shop. These Trump shops seemingly have operated for the past eight f years. How many Trump shops exist in rural America? I don't know. I live in California. I never see a Trump shop. One kind of design really helps pay the bills. I've learned how to put it on my computer and kind of change things. As long as we can still sell Donald Trump stuff, we're doing good. They're just $5. That's, that's One of her customers was Sherry Rowell. We met her while she was buying a Trump sign, and she said we could come see her put it up. Her grandson, Talon, died in an accident this summer, before he could vote in his first election. He did love him some Trump. Couldn't wait to get 18 so he could vote. Yep. Oh my God, you put the Trump sign on his grave? Oh, ew, dude. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. My grandparents live in a town with 1,200 people and there's a Trump shop. What the f Has anyone looked into this? There's a park and ride parking lot in my North New Jersey town where two separate Trump pop-up shop trucks come by every weekend and stand in the intersection causing trouble until they gather a crowd and then inevitably end up buying tons of merch. Great stuff. Economic nationalism plays a big part in small cities that depend on agriculture or a single industrial company. They hate modern neo-lib Democrats. Dude, if you think that Donald Trump is an economic nationalist, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Neoliberalism was first most successfully implemented, uh, sure, post-Carter, by Ronald Reagan. It is quite literally the Republican method. The Democrats adopted it after the fact and still maintain their position, but that doesn't mean the Republicans aren't on board with this. They f damn near invented it, man. What do you think Reaganomics is? Like, this doesn't make any sense, dog. This does not make any f sense. He won not vote for Trump. You know, he had just got his first job, and he was like, I make you know, $9 an hour and I work this many hours, why do I only make this much money? And I told him, I said, son, it's politics. You got to pay taxes. Talon became really intrigued with it and started doing some more research. And he said, you know, dad, looking at what me and you talked about, we need Donald Trump in office. And he just became. Bro, why are y'all? <clears throat> why are you guys talking over the grave of this 18 year old being like, yeah, he's a real dumb. He did some research on Facebook and was like, we need Donald Trump. <laughs> like, the dude is dead. Let him f rest, man. Jesus Christ. Things changed pretty fast when we went from, you know, Trump to Biden. Even they could see the difference. 
even the kids. Yeah, I could take you to the Piggly Wiggly and they hunt. You just look at the prices. I don't know where y'all come from, but compared to what we've had four years ago, it's triple. There's some statistics that show that younger women are more likely to be for Harris. Do you see any evidence of that here in this county? I don't really in this county, but I do know some younger females that are, are very much a Harris person. And I'm, I mean, I'm not against her. If I thought she was going to do different than what was already in there. You know what I'm saying? Like if she should have come out and run the independent, then I might well listen to her a little more. Ron Hamm invited us to breakfast the next day at a diner where regulars talk politics. When Biden claims that he had more jobs and created more jobs, that's only because of Corona, because everything shut down. That was not Trump's fault. No, the jobs report numbers were really good for September. That just came out this week. The American yeah. people but, uh, are right. government right. issued numbers. Just, but, but. Dude, we have a real disinformation problem in this country. Like, I f hate the Democratic Party, but God, I mean, I guess they also f do their own version of this, sh but holy f Republicans literally just like repeat whatever the f they heard from the TV unquestioningly, unflinchingly. Like, I mean, so do the Dems, but at least like Dems do have a tendency to sometimes, sometimes arrive at the truth, I guess. These guys are straight up like, hey, the job numbers were fake. <laughs> I heard on TV. I heard on the TV. Job numbers were fake. That's right. Hold on, though. You just can't take that and give credit to Washington, D.C. You give credit to that to the American people that go to work every day, even when they down, even when it's against them, even when it's, been, when it's going uphill. We get up and we continue to work. We continue to fight, and we've made this country better. There ain't nobody in Washington got a right to take take credit for what the American people have done. But we didn't want to leave town without hearing a different point of view. So they called some old friends to come by. And tell him to breakfast. Yeah. Lay some folks up here want to talk to you. Uh, tell him to hurry up. I want to go. It's crazy. Like, they can't even find a single f open Democrat in the county. Like, we're, we're going to find one. I promise you, liberal woman. <laughs> we're going to find one. <laughs> Fishing. Yeah. He made me do it. This is a real live CNN reporter, and she wants to meet a Democrat in Brantley County. <laughs> they were few and far between, so they're looking at that. We called you and Donald both. Hey. Guys, these guys, I promise you, these guys are going to turn to Kamala Harris when they hear her talk about the opportunity economy. When they find out that Dick Cheney endorsed Kamala Harris, these guys are going to be like, well, that's right. I Love Dick Cheney. <laughs> a Democrat when I'm an independent. Okay. What are your views on the election? Well, I ain't gonna vote for a criminal. Well, what he did in January the sixth, and you know, and the way he could have done something, man. You know, poof, they was beating on them cops down there. Where's your, there's your other Democrat? Hi, come join us. She's a CNN reporter, and she wants some Democrats in Brandon County. She can't find one. I told her I knew it. How are you so dumb? I don't know. Yummy, yummy pizza. It's a question I ask myself all the time. I'm like, how am I so dumb, dude? Couple, she said, please call. Her. Please, she wouldn't quit. Tell us. Is it? Thank you. I have voted Republican. You know? Yeah. I vote for the man. I don't vote for their party. So what are your thoughts on the election? What are my thoughts on my what? On the election. <laughs> Dog, this guy... Dude, these people are awesome. They're barely sentient, dude. What do you mean? We brought together a bunch of Jimmy Carters in one diner to talk to us about who they're voting for. It's like none of these people's opinions should matter. They are dying tomorrow. I do not give a f who they're voting for. They clearly don't have a lot of life left, okay? Ain't much to think about it. Well, who are you going to vote for? The right person. Well, who do you think the right person is? going to be Donald Trump. Okay, tell me why. Oh, Last he's time. like me for real. When <laughs> you saw him talking, did you watch his lips? Uh-huh. Were they moving? Uh-huh. He's lying. <laughs> All right. Well, so, Mr. That's such a Facebook line, dude. Anytime you see his lips moving, he's lying. <laughs> That's awesome. Mr. Wilson here was telling us that January 6th was a big disqualifier for him. Old man's a Cornell West supporter. I know it. That's right. I need to vote for an academic who stands on business. <laughs> Should have been. What? How do you feel about that? I feel about it like he's anti-American. He's trying to overthrow our government. 
And so are you thinking about voting for Harris? Yeah, I have to, or not vote. He's the only John Wheeler other than Trump. Yeah. It's Corby run. He's like, I'm voting for Claudia. <laughs> I'm voting on the PSL ticket, not pumpkin spice latte. Have you heard of it? Party for Socialism and Liberation. That's right. Long live Claudia. Big fan of Gloria La Riva, too. Understand me? I'm not voting for him. <laughs> it's Brad Summer. <laughs> That's what they're dang saying. They're saying it's dang Brad Summer. Let me tell you, it's Brad Autumn in here. Charlie XCX making my gosh darn pussy quiver. Every time I hear that, she's British now, but... <laughs> It's all good. That's the point. You're picking out the words of the words that make content and thinking they're all the same, but then don't want Arabs to be seen as one is all. Wait, what? Do you think I'm like, who do you think I'm exhibiting bigotry towards here? <laughs> Dude, right wingers are so funny. You y'all turn into the biggest pussy ass lip tart ass social justice warriors at a at the tip of a hat, dude. God, shut the fuck up, dude. Stop crying. Okay. <laughs> yeah. When, when old white men in the United States of America in a place like Georgia are being genocided by virtue of being old white men in the state of Georgia, then we can talk about the bigotry exhibited towards old white men. You're talking like the boomer side is real, dude. I'm not on either side. I'm against you. <laughs> we know for many people, trust me, dog, we know. Okay. For a lot of people, the, the only, the, their North star is basically just like, I hate whatever this God Hassan is saying. We know, dog. We know you have no coherent worldview, except for whatever some dumb Twitch streamer is saying. That's how stupid you are, okay? Your world is, is guided by hating a Twitch streamer. Please, live your life. Go outside. Experience the world. Oh my God. <laughs> How pathetic, dude. If that's what you believe, everyone's dumb but you. Wait, what? No, man, I'm dumb. I'm a dumb ass. I say I'm a dumb ass all the time, brother. No, I'm dumb. Most people are. God damn, dude. This is so pathetic, brother. You you literally are this prime. We're having fun over here. We're looking at a bunch of we're looking at a bunch of old boomers, some of which are pro Kamala. Many are pro Trump. We're having a good old time and big homies in here like, hmm, I'm so mad right now. I don't even know why I'm mad. I don't even understand your personal political point of view. I just, hmm, I'm just going to cry. Like, all right, dude, good luck. Good luck to you. Okay. 